In this video, you are gonna find out how to mix the kick and the bass properly inside your Tech House tracks. I'm gonna teach you four techniques I'm using personally myself to release my tracks also with record labels like Lisbon Journeys Records, the Stata label, and Total Freedom Recordings. Before I start this video, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and also make sure you go on my Spotify to check out the tracks I've released. I've released the track Peace and Nature. It's not a Tech House track what I usually release. It's more like an ambient track. It sounds really nice. It's, a, it's really, it's, it's just nice in the background. I really enjoy that. And in the following weeks i'm gonna have some big news for you guys because i'm gonna pre-launch my music production course for edm music a few people are gonna be selected to join my pre-launch course so you can actually learn music production for me personally and with that let's get straight into the video Alrighty, guys we are here in fl studio and as you probably know is that in EDM or in tech house or in house music, the relationship between the kick and the bass are the most important elements in your tracks. If you don't get this element right, your tracks will not sound as powerful. And just because you watch this video, I believe that you might have some problems with the relationship with the kick and the bass and you want to make your bass line sound more fat. So I'm going to teach you four single techniques how to exactly do that. Technique number one is following. It's called sound design. So if the kick you're choosing in the comparison to the baseline doesn't sound cohesive doesn't f match it you can do whatever you want with all your mixing skills it's not going to make it better because the the sound selection is the fundamental of the whole thing i will give you an example now let's mute the vocals and let's mute everything except the kick and the bass let's see how it sounds like and then exchange it with another kick and see what the difference exactly is As you can already hear the difference, the sound selection makes a big difference in how the whole thing sounds. If you don't get the sound right, you can do whatever you want. It's not going to change the whole thing. The second tip I'm going to give you is to mix in key. What we can basically do is we just go on this little thing here, go to edit sample, and with that, it opens up Edison. Okay, what we're going to do now is we double click this section here, go on regions and click on detect pitch regions. Okay, so this is going to show us basically and what key the kick is in. So if you look at the if we look at the bass line now as well, we can obviously compare it. It's in D. So perfect. D minor. So obviously the kick and the bass are going to match with each other because they're in the same key. Pitch it up. Sometimes you need to pitch it up and down. If you don't know the key exactly, pitch it up and down. See what sounds the best for you. Honestly speaking, sometimes this rule is really, really true. But sometimes you don't even have to mix in key. Sometimes you have to pitch it up and down. And you realize that this sounds somehow better. This sounds better than if it's actually in the key from the bass line. So just try it. Listen to your ears. Listen to what your ears are telling you. But it's definitely important that you get the kick pitch right and also the bass line pitch. The third thing which is really important to get your kick and your bass properly is to mix the right volumes. So obviously, if the kick is way too loud, it will not sound nice. If the bass line is way too loud, it doesn't make sense either. With studio headphones, it sounds maybe nice, but as soon as you put it on a JBL speaker or on big club systems, the bass this is going to be so sub heavy that it's just not going to make any sense. So definitely get the relationship right. This sounds all right for me. The fourth tip is definitely the sidechain compression. So because the kick and the bass are basically both very bass heavy elements, you need, to, you need to make sure that just one is playing at a time. So if the kick is very bass heavy, you need to make sure that the bass line is ducking down. If the kick is very heavy, you need to make sure that the bass line is ducking the volume down every single time the kick is playing. So what you basically have to do is you have to connect the kick channel to the bass channel with zero volume. Then you go on the bass channel on the limiter and you basically double click here and you connect it to the kick. So that means every single time the kick is playing, the bass is ducking down. You can obviously change release time depends on how long the kick is. So the 
So the free limiter is option number one. Option number two, I definitely recommend to you guys, is called the LFO tool. So the LFO tool basically gives you way more com way more control over the wave or how the bass should actually duck down. Um, I made it like this. And if you install an LFO tool on the kick channel as well, you can find out exactly how long the kick is to match the kick sidechain, basically the kick length to the sidechain of the bass. This is going to look like this. So let's open up both LFO tools, the one on the bass channel and the one on the kick channel. And basically what you can see now then is that it's matching perfectly. Or almost. So the kick goes to 11, the bass is ducked down at 11 completely, so they match perfectly from the timing. You can even shape the, the kick a little bit, so if the kick is going until here, for example, you can just duck the volume down from the kick, so it's not as long, and so the bass has more room to breathe and more room to actually show up, because if the kick goes like a whole bar, like till here, there's not much space for the bass to punch through, so that's why you can also even shape the volume of the kick, um, but it depends exactly what kind of kick you're using. The fourth thing I'm definitely going to teach you guys is the saturation. The saturation is a tool which is going to make your kick or your bass line sound really, really fat. It's going to give this extra frequencies to the bass line. When you think the bass line sound you selected on Serum, for example, sounds already good, but with this, for example, Decapitator, you're going to make your sound so much fatter and so much nicer. Obviously, the main thing is obviously the sound selection, and after that comes the mixing, and after that comes the compression, etc. But if you start, if you if you have the right sound, and then use the saturation, it's going to make everything everything sound more fat. And the bonus that I'm going to teach you guys is choosing the right EQ. So this is going to be one of the secret tips I'm teaching in one of my music production courses is the following. So obviously, because we don't want the bass to take the whole spectrum, we want it to duck it down first of all a bit. When it cut it somewhere. around 2000 hertz because we don't need it everything above we might need that space for the heights for the claps for the synths for the vocals for everything else and the secret tip i'm going to give you now guys is to cut the bass at around 85 hertz with a low pass like a low shell filter and this basically this little cut is going to give the kick more space to breathe let's listen to it without eq and listen to it without after after eq without You can hear the difference that the kick has more space to breathe through. Um, sometimes I'm gonna reduce those things here around 600 hertz, it depends. Or if I feel like the low one is too quiet, I'm gonna boost a little bit around the low mids, like around 300 hertz. This sounds really great. If you don't have any processing on, the whole thing is gonna sound like this. And with processing, it's going to sound like this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you go on Spotify and listen to this track you hear right now in the background. It's called Suave. It's one of my favorite tracks I produce, so definitely check that out, please. And have a beautiful day. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and see you in the next video.